In this video, we're going to demonstrate a couple ways to have a black background with white text and PowerPoint and have everything black background, text, and all save as a picture, as a JPEG or a PNG or a JPEG. Uh, we're going to do it in the most simple format where we will be able to right click and go save this picture. And we will do in uh, one with a title box and a content box. We won't be able to right click on this one, but I will show you how to save them as a picture. So right click won't work on this. Just a quick uh, backstory on this. I spent literally hours Googling, YouTubing, trying to find answers to this. I even called my sister in South Carolina who works with PowerPoint quite a bit. And even she didn't know how to do what I was wanting to do. Uh, I was having a problem where it was either saving the background or saving text without the background. It was just, it was just a mess. It took me a long time. I finally figured it out. So let's get started. Let's go to File, Blank Presentation, and let's go ahead and just get rid of everything here. This is going to be the most basic first. So we have a blank screen here. Now what we want to do is we're on our Home tab. We want to go over here to the Shape box, and we want to grab this rectangular shape. Go up to the top corner, click, left click, hold down, go to the bottom corner. And then go up here on your shape styles and we want to select black shape with white text. And let's just type some text. This is some text. Now, we're probably not going to want it right in the middle like that all the time. So let's go back to our home button and let's left align it. Now you notice it butts up all the way against the edge and that's no good. You want a margin, right? But uh, first, let's just show how uh, if we right click this, we can save this picture. And this PNG one, we'll just stick it on the desktop. And, and there it is. So everything worked correctly that way. To put a margin on this, we're going to go to Design, Side Slides. So, slide size custom size and let's put our margins in I, I'm going to put this at 12 for the sides here and 6.5 for top and bottom for top and bottom so we're going to click OK and we're going to ensure fit and notice that it's brought it in so let's go back to home Let's grab our shape again, and this time let's make sure we have a different color. Mine just automatically defaults to blue. We're going to leave it like that. Let's draw us another shape. And let's right click, and we're going to send this to the back. All right, now if you notice, if you were to right click and save this picture, we'll go here for number two. It's not going to have everything that we need, but we can fix this. So number two, it's just that. Or if you were to click on the blue one, it would just save the blue. If you were to click on the blue edge there and do that, it would just save the blue. So let's fix this. So what we want to do is we'll click in the black one. We're going to shift click over into the blue one. Then we're going to right click and we're going to group. And now let's save this picture. This will be number three. Save this picture. Uh, number one, number two, number three. There it is. And there we have, you see our margins are there and everything. So now that we have our margins, let's go ahead and fix this where it will just be solid black. So we're going to right click. And we're going to go to Format Shape. We're going to Fill. Click Solid Fill. Click Black. And now, let's test it again. Save as shape. And save. It'd be number four. And there's number four. So now we have a nice margin. And just to, so you can know, you can still talk. You just click right next to your, where you had left off here. And you can continue typing. Put a space there. there. 
and then of course you can right click save this picture this will be number five and we'll just go check it to make sure so you can check along the way make sure everything's working out correctly so that is the most basic however that might not be enough for you you may want title and a content area so that's what we're going to do next so let's go ahead and click on this box and we're going to control c control v and that's the original we're going to go here and let's get rid of all of our type now let's go up to the layout button on your home tab layout you have different options you can do title only and then if you were to click under the title it would put the text where we just showed you previously well i'm going to do title and content so title and content and title here oh, let me make sure i'm set to the white there title here and i'm gonna get rid of my bullet point up here because i know it's gonna put it on there and set to white and Now, if you were to right click, you got to get out of the text box. If you were to right click and save this picture, this is this number six, save. You notice there's nothing there. So how do we fix that? You go to file, export, change file top, type, uh, JPEG interchange format or PNG the one and then save as Take a minute here This takes a minute you notice it's grayed out you got to wait till it's not grayed out to do anything so we will save as we're just gonna call it title uh, JPEG and we're going to save it to the desktop and it's gonna give us one more prompt Do you want to save? Do you want to save all slides or just this one? If you make a series of slides, it will save them all correctly. Or if you have just the one, so you just it's your option, but I'm going to say all slides. And we'll go look at this. And the one with the title was this one, right? Yeah, there it is. So that saved as a picture, and then of course it saved the other one too as well because I selected all slides. So there you go. That's how you do that. Now, the final thing we want to do is let's uh we'll save the title one. You could do this will work for either one, okay? But we're going to save it as a template so we can use it in the future. So we're going to go to file, save a copy. Uh, and we're going to go, well, first, uh, yeah, file, save, copy. You have your folder. You select your folder, and I have one called uh, PowerPoint Templates here somewhere. Let me find it. Yeah, there we go. YouTube video. YouTube video. template and we want to do from the drop down we want to select a PowerPoint template and then we want to save that and then got it now on on this one we can do either one will show up as a template we anytime you pull the template up you're automatically going to want to resave it as whatever name, whatever file it is. You don't want to change your template. So that's very important to remember. Because any changes you make here, if you turn on auto save, if it's on, if you were to do that, turn it to on, which I'm not going to do, it will change your template. So just make sure when you open up your template, you go ahead and save it as a regular PowerPoint, uh, not PowerPoint template. And then, uh, you're good to go and you won't mess up your template that's all there is to it i hope uh i've saved some people a lot of time searching because 
believe me, I have been through some videos and I have been through some web pages and nobody, I mean zero, showed me how to do what I needed to do. So I hope this saved you some time and uh, if this video helped you, how about leaving a like, a comment, subscribe, share this channel with somebody. I sure would appreciate it and you have a good day.